What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first episode of Rainbow Craft. This is my first ever Minecraft modded SMP and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to play multiplayer Minecraft for like the longest time and I've also been wanting to play survival and I know you guys have been requesting that I play survival too but I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't actually played real survival Minecraft in like five years so i'm gonna be a little bit newbie but that's okay i will learn this series is full of a ton of cute mods and rainbow mods of course because the name of the series is rainbow craft and i wanted to do something a little bit cute to my skin for the new series so i decided to put a little rainbow unicorn on my sweater the server that I'm playing on is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting, which I'm so thankful for because honestly, without them, I would probably be playing single player for the rest of my Minecraft life. So a big thank you to everyone who works over there. And if you guys want to get a server of your own, you can use code Catherine for 15% off. Okay, so this is the spawn building. I decided to make a really cute purple and blue tower right in between a cherry blossom biome and a magic biome. We have these cute little twinkling fairy lights around the whole tower and look at these blocks. Look, it's like a pastel rainbow swirl. It's so cute. On each side of the tower, we have these little platforms that you can see. And basically the idea behind this was just to have a cool spot for portals. I don't know. I just thought that having portals by the spawn would be super cute. It might be kind of dangerous if anything comes through them, but you know, it's okay. We'll deal with it. Now, when you go inside of the spawn, uh, as you can see, it's kind of empty. And uh, the only thing in here is a giant pit of death. And I have a little sign right here that says, fall into the pit to go upstairs. Smiley face. It sounds evil, but I like it. Also, what people probably don't know, because ah! I feel like anyone being told to fall into a pit of death to go somewhere would be a little bit suspicious, but it's actually perfectly fine. So you just fall into the pit and it bounces you right up. I thought that was a pretty fun way to get upstairs to the actual spawn area. Hopefully nobody leaves any of the doors open though, because if any of the mobs get in here, then that would probably turn into an actual pit of death. Okay, so this is the spawn room and behind me we have the player list. So we have me, Chris, and my friends Joy and Sal. I decorated spawn with some cute bookshelves, terrariums, and of course more fairy lights. And there's also some shulker boxes for each player. So everyone is gonna start off with a bed, a set of rainbow fairy lights, a pickaxe, and some food. As you can see, we do have some buttons on the wall. So we have a clear weather button. Over here, we have a daylight button. And then we also have a creative mode button. And over here, we have a survival mode button. There's really only one rule for the series, and that is you can only use the creative button to build your house because I personally just feel like it's the most annoying thing ever to build your house in survival. So everyone's allowed to build their own houses in creative mode, but everything else will be done in survival. Also, if you're wondering how you get down from the tower, you simply just walk forward like this. I have these little cloud blocks surrounding the outside of the pit. So as you can see, when you walk into one, it slowly catches you and you don't die. The last thing that I wanted to talk about real quick was just the fact that this is my texture pack that I've been working on for a while now. If you guys remember, I posted in the community section of my YouTube channel saying that I wanted to make a texture pack and this is basically what it is so far. It's definitely not done. It is a work in progress. Um, but if you guys like the texture pack, what I wanted to do was give it away as a thank you for when I hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys are into that, then let me know in the comments. I just thought this would be a fun way to say thank you for when I reached that goal. And I really just want this to be a community driven texture pack. So if you guys have any cute ideas for blocks or textures or anything like that, let me know in the comment section so I can add them because I want this to be a really fun texture pack that we create together and that everyone likes. I just joined my single player texture pack testing world real quick so I can show you guys a couple of the blocks. So this is what we have going on so far. As you can see, some of the stuff is still not textured yet because like I said, it's a work in progress, but this is basically what it looks like so far. I'm obsessed with the colors of wood in this texture pack. So I made oak white, spruce purple, and birch blue. I also adjusted the brown shades of the other wood and I changed the leaves to blue and purple as well. Like seriously, look how pretty these trees are. This purple one is super cute, but the blue one, oh, this is my favorite. It's so pretty. 
And if I fly over here, you guys can actually get an idea of how I changed the biome colors. I only changed a couple of them, but like, for example, if you're in a plains biome, I have it so that the leaves are like a few different shades of green and blue, just because I think that looks really pretty. I'm obsessed with it. So some of the trees in the plains biomes will look like this. But yeah, so this is what I have so far, and there's actually a village right over here, so you can see what some of the textures look like all together like this. I'm obsessed with the cobblestone. It looks so cute. Like I said before, if you guys have any fun texture pack ideas, let me know in the comments so I can add them to the pack, and yeah, let's get back to Rainbow Craft. Okay, so I'm back, and the first thing I wanna do is grab my shulker box because I currently have nothing, and I would prefer not to die. Oh my god, I forgot how long it takes to break blocks with my fists! Oh, I need to get tools! Okay, so let's go explore the land a little bit. I want to show you guys this area because it is so beautiful. Over here we have like a giant cherry blossom biome and I'm just obsessed with it. Um, and over here, like I said before, oh hello! Enderman. I, nope, not gonna look at you. Anyway, there's a magic forest biome right over here and it is just the most adorable thing ever. I love this biome so much. Look at the minty trees. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Also, if I stand like over here, there's like little magical orbs of light. I don't see them right now, but it just got dark real quick. Hello. Oh wait, there's, do you see? Do you see? Oh, look at it, it's so beautiful. Wait, do these only come out at night? I swore I saw them during the day. Look, look at the little magic lights. But yeah, so I was walking around before and I saw this and I was just like, okay, this is my home. I must live in this area. So I was thinking about actually living right in the middle of this little lake. So if you guys think that's a cool idea, let me know. But yeah, look how beautiful this is. This whole area is just, ah, uh, so cute. I wanna go make it daytime real quick though because it's dark and I'm not trying to die. Okay, now the other area that I wanted to show you guys real quick was this kind of like flatland-ish for here. I thought that this would be like the perfect spot for a little town where we can all build like little shops and stores and stuff. So that's what I think this area is gonna be for. <gasps> is that like a panther and a baby panther? Oh, hello. Are you nice? Oh, you don't look nice. You don't look nice at all. Please, I'm just gonna, <gasps> there's another one. What? Nope, we're gonna go away. I'm gonna get some of this dirt and I wanna plop my shulker box right down in the middle of this lake and I wanna build round, eh, there we go. So that this can be where my house goes. I actually feel like this is a pretty safe spot because I am surrounded by water, so if anything was going to attack me, it would probably take them a long time to get here. So, hello, it's me. I'm editing this video right now, and for some reason, the next hour and a half of footage that I have got messed up. My entire audio sounds like this. I need tools. I don't feel safe here. I have no idea what happened, but it sounds really bad, so I'm just gonna narrate basically what happened in the rest of the episode. So Joy joined the server and we quickly figured out that bears aren't the friendliest animal. It got dark out so we started mining and that's when we found these really pretty crystals but when I broke them it gave me a weird message. It said, your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. So naturally I got really excited and I wanted to see what happened so I decided to go to bed. And when I woke up, it said, you awaken from a strange dream. You quickly write it down before the memory fades. And I had a book in my hand. I opened the book and it said, I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be of different types, but if I did it properly, then the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder, should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous, but dangerous. Everything started to get really exciting, so of course Joy and I went ahead and started getting the resources that this weird dream book told us to get. So I got wood to make a bowl, and then we went down into the mines to start gathering other resources. After looking for a while, I finally found some redstone and I, uh, dropped it in lava. 
but it was okay because there was more right next to it. While we were mining, we found so many different colors of ore, everything was so pretty, and we even found rainbow ore, and I mined so much that my inventory was just full of rainbow crystals. Then, um, I tried to get flint with a pickaxe, and then Joy told me that you have to use a shovel, so that's something that I did not remember, so I made a shovel, and I got my flint, and then we tried to do the recipe that the book was telling us to do. I messed up the recipe like a million times, but eventually we did get it right, and we made the item that this book was telling us to make. I clicked on a bookcase with it, and all this little magical particle stuff started happening, and a book popped up. I opened up the book and was just immediately overwhelmed because this mod is just a lot more intense than I thought it was, but basically the book told us to make like this magical crafting table and we did that. We made the crafting table. It worked. Then Joy dropped some items into the pit and that's when we realized that stuff in the pit will literally bounce forever. We went back outside at night and that's when we found this weird orb that decided it hated Joy. And after she almost died, we found a confetti creeper. And yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. If you guys are excited for this new series, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!